so hello everyone welcome back now let us start problem number 5.16 on page number 240 of griffith's electrodynamics he's saying that we need to consider two coaxial solenoid each carrying current i but in opposite directions this is the diagram or the figure the inner solenoid is of the radius this this the inner the inner solenoid let me draw the figure like this it will be more clear the inner solenoid is of radius a and n turns yeah he is saying that we have n turns over here let me just draw a solenoid of first of all all right now this is n1 turns and the uh, direction of magnetic field is uh, i think yeah anti clockwise all right this is anti clockwise and again he is saying that uh, radius b we need to consider again a solenoid of radius b it's a little bigger oh sorry little bigger so this is a solenoid of radius b and it has uh, how many turns uh, n two turns and they are in anti clockwise direction so in this direction they are given us two solenoids so obviously the uh, the Uh, direction of solenoid is simply by the right hand thumb rule that you place the uh, fingers in the direction of current and curl them in the in the axis or in the, from where we need to calculate the magnetic field so if you, if you place your magnetic field uh, for inside as we know that the magnetic field of solenoid is given by mu not ni or mu not i and ni where n is the number of turns i is the current and other things you, you, mu not is the Uh, relativity of permit uh, permit permittivity in free space so b is b4 inside is given by if if you if you place uh, this is this is for magnetic field inside the solenoid and outside the solenoid the magnetic field is zero because no current uh, is uh, enclosed outside the solenoid so so th this is this is magnetic field for uh, if if you place a uh, he is saying inside the inner solenoid if you place uh, uh, a point if you pick up a point a here inside this so it is inside both of these solenoids so uh, magnetic field of both will count mu not n i and and n2 i suppose n2 is greater than n1 suppose it is not given in the question he should have mentioned that uh, so n2 is greater than so mu not n i n2 and mu not n i n1 so let us let us just calculate the direction of magnetic field first of all so if we place our uh, fingers here and from for inner it is going positive x z direction so for inner it is going and for outer it is going so i need to re reverse my uh, uh the the negative sign because of the the direction of magnetic field so this is uh, first part inside inner solenoid the next part is between them so between them means between them means outside the inner outside the inner and inside the outer So B is equal to mu not. So if 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 if, uh, if we are talking about uh, inside the outer, sorry outer. So this is here and the direction is reverse. So mu not and mu not i n two. Let me check for this diagram also if I am I am making this correct. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For for this diagram, actually, if you curl the fingers from here to here, so it, it will give you uh, positive z. For this, he has not mentioned actually, but we can. Uh, I I suppose that. Suppose I I take this. Actually, th this is not the conventional direction, but I am supposing that this is the minus z and this is plus z. Suppose I I uh, tilted it like this, like this. I I make this as top and this as bottom. This is just a. Uh, I suppose. but in figure you must mention for top you, you must mo not mention negative sign you must mention for top and for bottom if if he is asking about the or you can mention right or left 
you can mention top and bottom here so the third part in the third part he's saying the outside both so outside both obviously is zero outside both the magnetic field is zero or you can just mention uh, instead of taking negative sign you can just mention z z cap and minus z cap and plus z cap the examiner will already or will will understood the things you'll uh, you are trying to say so that's all for this video see you next video bye bye thank you